Let's get started. eighteen fifty eight Giacomo Puccini composer he composed operas such as La Boheme and Madama Butterfly being considered in his time second only to Giuseppe Verdi he was a pioneer of the Verismo style after seeing a performance of Verdi's Ida he abandoned all plans to become a church organist his first opera Ruvillai was written in eighteen eighty three his plans to finish Madama Butterfly were thwarted by a car accident in which he became pinned under the car. He married Elvira Gemignani after her husband was murdered by one of his lovers, and he acknowledged that their relationship was not free of infidelities. He crossed paths with Benito Mussolini but did not align with the ideology of Mussolini's party, even though he was made an honorary member without his consent. 1885 Deans Taylor Composer Member of the Algonquin Round Table Among his original works are The Chambered Nautilus, a cantata from 1916, and Through the Looking Glass, an orchestral piece from 1918. He composed The King's Henchman and Peter Ibbetson for the Metropolitan Opera in the 1920s. He had three failed marriages. A personal friend of the composer George Gershwin. In this series, we're paying homage to the musical legends who were born on this day. From rock and roll pioneers to jazz greats, we'll take a closer look at the lives, careers, and legacies of these talented artists. Whether you're a fan of their music or just curious to learn more, join us as we celebrate the birthdays of these iconic musicians. 1901 Andre Castellanets Composer, Conductor, Director Enlightening and light classical music and orchestral arrangements on Broadway for the mainstream. He fled Russia in 1922 to escape the revolution. Sold over 50 million records and conducted the New York Philharmonic. Married to his second wife. Lily Pons, for 20 years, which ended in 1958. His cousin was the physicist Lou Kowarski. Collaborated with pianist Dick Hyman in the 1970s. 1921 Hawkshaw Hawkins. Country singer. Popular in the 1950s and a member of the Grand Ole Opry, his 1963 single Lonesome 7 to 7203 topped the country charts in the United States. He won a talent competition at the age of 16 and worked at a couple of radio stations in the 1930s. He joined the U.S. Navy in 1943 during World War II, where he served as an engineer and sang in local bars. He was the inspiration for Martin Simpson's 2003 single, Love Never Dies. He was married to Jean Shepard until his death in 1963. His wife was pregnant at the time of his death in a plane crash alongside Patsy Cline and Cowboy Copas. His last performance was with Patsy Cline at a charity concert in Kansas City in 1963. 1939, James Gurley, guitarist. From the band Big Brother and the Holding Company, he spent four years with the Catholic Brothers of the Holy Cross Church, preparing for ecclesiastical life. He taught himself to play the guitar and had a romance with Janis Joplin, the leader of the BB and THC band. If you remember anyone on this list, let me know. Which one is your favorite? To learn more, take a look at the description of this post. Remember that if you like the content, you can share the link, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. This was a program for Music and Life by Carlos M. Created by Rune KM Productions.